everyone, it's Nikki and welcome back to my channel. This is going to be an empties video for the month of March. If you don't know what an empties video is, it's pretty simple. It is all the products that I've emptied out during the past month. Things that I've used all the way through. I saved the containers, hence the empties part of the video. And because I've used it all, I can really give you a little in-depth mini review about um, what I liked about the product, what I didn't, if I'd purchase it again, etc. I've got a good collection of hair care, body care, skin care, and a couple makeup things. So that being said, I'm just going to jump right in. Let's start with Soap & Glory's Foam Call. This is an amazing product. Um, if you've never used anything from Soap & Glory, you need to get you some because it is so good. Um, it's a little company out of uh, England and boy do they do things right. They've got fun little quirky graphics and an amazing product. Um, they've got skin care, body care, shampoo. It's all just fruity, yummy goodness. Oh my goodness. This one is uh, the Dual Use Shower and Bath Body Wash. It is made from peppermint essential oils, grapeseed, fruit liquid fig, and orange water juice. I'm going to level with you. I don't know what half of those things are, but I know that when you put it together, it smells like some goodness. I loved using this. It was light and fruity. It made wonderful creamy bubbles. Um, gave me a great start to my morning, so this will definitely be in my life again. You can purchase Soap & Glory products at Sephora online. They used to sell it at Target. I'm not sure that they still do, but this big thing lasted me about, I would say, seven months, and it was around $14.99. So I love me some Soap & Glory products. This will be in my life again. The next product is from Lush. I am a certified Lushy. I absolutely love Lush. It is fresh handmade cosmetics. It's made out of natural ingredients, everything that they have, and it's amazing. They have a wonderful website. They also have stores. Um, here in DFW, I go to the one at North Park, and they're fabulous. This is another shower gel. Um, I must be a dirty girl, because I go through a lot of uh, shower gels um, during the month. This one is Rose Jam. It was a limited edition. It was kind of a Christmas fall scent, and it was so good. Uh, it's sweet, tart, and wonderfully fresh. This indulgent blend of rose, vanilla, and lemon will leave you smelling purely blissful, and I'll be darned if it did not do just that. It was so good. It smelled kind of like a champagne punch, and um, sometimes in the morning, I felt like doing a little bit of this, because it just, <laughs> I would actually, it smelled good enough to drink or eat, whichever. It is so good. Um, when the holidays roll around again and this limited edition baby comes out, I will definitely have that in my life and I'm going to get the bigger size next time. This was basically their starter size and I want to say it was around $7.99, but it lasts a long time. A little dab will do ya. Love it and will definitely have that in my life again. The next product is a whipped cream, uh, basically a moisturizing cream, and this one comes from Fortune Cookie Soap. This is in the scent Snickerdoodle, and it's another fall winter scent, and it's another one that, boy, you could just eat right out of the out of the jar here, or it seemed like you could. It smelled exactly like a Snickerdoodle cookie. You got cinnamon and buttery goodness, and it was fabulous. This is their smaller size. I got this in a pack of four. Um, you can purchase Fortune Cookie Soap on their website. They do not carry it in stores. It's a little company based out of Tulsa, Oklahoma, but it is fabulous. It's called Fortune Cookie Soap because their beginning product is a fortune cookie soap. It's a little glycerin soap in the shape of a fortune cookie. They have it in so many different flavors. We buy those to my boys. I've got two boys, 11 and 7. They love to use the fortune cookie soaps because it comes in flavors like bubblegum, cotton candy, snickerdoodle, fruit loops, and it's got a cute little fun fortune that you take out. Um, those run about three dollars. They make great gifts as well. But um, when this rolls around again, I will definitely be repurchasing it. Let's see what else we have. Okay, the next one is a shampoo. As you may notice, I don't have a lot of hair, so shampoos like this last a good long, long time for me. This one is from S Factor, made by TG. And it is the Health Factor Sulfate Free Daily Dose Shampoo. I actually got it because I heard someone on YouTube say that it smells like a strawberry smoothie. And let me tell you, they did not lie. It does smell like a strawberry smoothie. It was fabulous. And I enjoyed it a lot. 
Oh, oh, so good. It is like you're doing a little treat for your hair. And um, it's good for people like me who wash their hair every day. I don't have really damaged hair. I don't have a long hair, so I don't have to use a lot of treatment products. This is actually my natural hair color, so I can pretty much use whatever shampoo and conditioner I want. I still want to use something good, but I rotate it around. This one I got, like I said, because of the smell. The bad news is it was $29.99. I probably can't justify paying that again. If this were on sale, it would come back home with me. But at $29.99, I probably can't purchase this one again, even though it lasted about nine months. So, hasta la vista. I loved you while you were around, but you're too expensive for my taste. All right, the next product is the Obagi New Derm. This is the Foaming Gel. Obagi is a great skincare company that focuses on really aging skin and acne prone skin. And I'm going to tell you a little secret. I'm blessed with both. Even though I'm in my mid-40s, uh, I get those pimples, especially around that special time. And the fun thing is, is I will get pimples on top of my wrinkles. My goodness. It's not fair. It's not fair. But I digress. This was a great foaming gel. It says it deep cleans to leave even oily skin clean and fresh. It was good. It was about $45. I'm not going to lie. Um, it lasted about maybe six to nine months for me. Uh, I'm not going to be repurchasing this again because honestly, I could go get some Noxzema skin wash and have the exact same effect. I didn't see anything that was stunning or life shattering, wonderful changes with this. So I just won't repurchase this one again. Here is something I will definitely repurchase again. This is another Lush, Lushy. This is another Lush product and this is the Ultra Bland Facial Cleanser. This is amazing. If you've heard of the cleansing bombs that are all hot right now, this is basically a cleansing bomb. It is um, Lush's Fresh Cleansing Balm, which is fabulous. It's like a big thick moisturizing cream. Um, you get quite a lot in here. I want to say this was about, it wasn't cheap. I want to say it was about $16.99, but it lasts about six months for me. And you rub it in your skin and it dissolves the makeup. It's really, really wonderful. It feels a little oily, but it doesn't when you're putting it on, but it doesn't leave a residue on your skin. So I would rub this in, it would dissolve my makeup, and then um, I would use the next product that I'm going to show you here. Let me show you that one. And I would just grab one of these facial wipes. This one is the Burt's Bees Cucumber and Sage Facial Wipe. Um, and I would take the wipe and wipe off the makeup. Uh, I already repurchased my Lush Ultra Bland uh, Makeup Remover. I love it. Already repurchased one. That's definitely going to be in my life. This is a, the cleansing wipe that I used to wipe it off, like I mentioned, but I use whatever cleansing wipes are on sale. I'm going to level with you. I haven't found one that I absolutely would say I have to use again and again, so if it's on sale, I use it. This one was very good. Um, I've only found a couple that were a little too dry. This was nice. It was refreshing. It smelled cucumber fresh, and um, it was just wet enough to do the trick. Let's see. The next product is a holy grail product for me. This is a SkinCeutical CE Ferulic, and it is wonderful. It is a prevention serum. You actually put this on after you wash your face, before you do your moisturizer and makeup, and you just do a couple little drops, you rub it in, and you pat it on your face. And what it does is it helps prevent the nasty UVA and UVB rays from penetrating your skin. Um, it says it's a combination antioxidant treatment containing L-absorbic acid, alpha tocopherol, and ferulic acid. And it, I've been using this for about five years now. A dermatologist told me to pick some up. And I have really seen a difference in my skin. Not only does it prevent all the bad sun stuff from giving me sunspots and wrinkles, but it actually treats the ones I have. Um, I've noticed after five years of use, really I noticed after the first year of use, that the little dark spots that I had popping up here and there really began to fade with this. It's something that I don't ever want to be without. Um, so I will definitely repurchase this. It runs, I'm going to make sure my husband's not listening. Um, it runs $150. So not cheap. But it prevents and treats what you have. It lasts me about nine months. And I'm afraid to be without it. So I will definitely have this in my life. In fact, I've already repurchased one. Okay, here's another skincare item. This is the La Mer 
This is the Moisturizing Soft Cream. This is the one that came out with about two years ago that's lighter. It's mainly for the summer or for people that don't need that really, really deep, can, um, deep, deep moisturizing treatment cream. It's lighter than the first one, the original cream. Uh, this is one of those products that I enjoyed so much while I used it. Um, La Mer is a high-end skincare item. It ain't cheap. This cost about $290. Sorry, once again, making sure the husband didn't hear that. But um, it was really nice. It lasted about nine months. Would I repurchase it again? Probably not. I did not see a significant difference to justify the $290 uh, price tag on this one. So um, probably not going to be repurchasing this. But I enjoyed it so much. And if you've got a lot of extra income laying around and you want to devote it to a really nice moisturizing cream, go ahead and pick you up some. But I'm not going to have it again. Okay, had to figure out which one we were doing next. Oh my goodness, this is something that is well worth the price tag. This is the Glam Glow Youth Mud. This is the Tingle Exfoliate Treatment Mask Exfoliant for super sexy and radiant skin. And I'll tell you what, this is worth the price tag. This is a small size. They have a bigger size that runs about $69. This was about $29. I would say I got between 8 and 10 uses out of it. So that works in my... In my um, little life. I'll, I'll definitely justify this and I do have the bigger size. This started back in Hollywood, California when those models and actresses would come to the set and after a whole night of partying and their skin would be all nasty and, and dull looking and the makeup artists would put this on and BAM! 10 minutes later their skin would be awesome! Glowing and fabulous. And I will tell you what, it works the same for us housewives. I have noticed a huge difference when I use this. It exfoliates um, everything on my face. It, it helps to lighten those spots. I think it even helps to lighten those little nasty wrinkles around, um, you know, the smile lines and things like that. So I feel good using it. Plus, there's an entertainment value built in. This is like a gray kind of um, Frankenstein mask when I put it on. It's like gray and it's got little bits of seaweed and stuff in it. So I can chase the boys around the house and really freak them out. So that's the entertainment value. That comes for free. So I love to use this one and it is definitely um, a mainstay in my routine. All right, we're almost done here. Here is another fabulous product. Um, I'm a little on the fence about this one. This is the Guerlain Orchidae White Serum. It's another one that's not cheap. Um, when I turned 40 years old, I kind of had a little freak out. Um, and I started seeing all those nasty things on my skin that weren't supposed to be on my skin. And I went a little crazy. And I went to Neiman's and I said, you know what, promise me a miracle and I will pay whatever. And this is what they promised me. <laughs> I went to the Guerlain counter. It's a great serum. It treats the dark spots. It treats the fine lines. I've been using this for about five years now. And I noticed the first few years the results were insane. I could hardly believe the difference that it was doing on my skin. The past few years, I honestly think my skin's gotten used to it. Um, so this will probably be the last one that, that I will um, have purchased until maybe my skin starts getting wonky again and I decide to go back. But the price tag's pretty hefty. Again, this lasts about nine months. I only use it at night and it was around six hundred dollars so ouch um it's getting really hard to justify that price tag so uh it may come back <gasps> Arrivederci. i hope it does someday maybe we'll win the lottery and i can justify it again but for now it was it was good well while, while we were together thank you so much all right the next product is makeup and this is the laura mercier translucent powder loose setting powder. It's fabulous. It gives me kind of a satin finish. I don't look dry. I don't look cakey. Perfect, perfect setting powder. Um, I'm wearing it today because I have repurchased it. It runs about $45 and it's perfect. It lasts me about nine months so it will definitely be in my life again. This is the translucent one so it doesn't give any color. And the last product is the Laura Mercier Silk Cream Foundation. This is my foundation of choice. I've tried everything. I actually been using this for about a year and a half. I switched over from the Chanel Vita Lumiere um, foundation and I find this is cheaper. This runs about, I want to say $50 
and I am in the color Rose Ivory and it's a very light foundation. It gives me just enough coverage. I would say it's probably more, it's probably about medium coverage. It's not by any means um, a heavy coverage and it covers up my dark spots and seems to kind of glide over those fine lines and wrinkles. So it's, it's a really good friend for me. I love it. Um, it does, it does my face good. So it's definitely in my life. Again, it's what I'm using right now. I've already repurchased. So there you go. Thank you so much for your time today. You may notice I have an, a different uh, camera and a different set today. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. And I do promise I will have some more exciting things on the way. I'm actually about to film a monthly favorites video, which I'll talk about my favorite products for that month. And um, again, thank you so much. If you have any questions, comments, suggestions, please leave them down below. And have a great day. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.